let's look at that water particle okay so if I go to I'm gonna go to create polygon cube I'm just gonna scale this cube up a little bit and I'm gonna fill this cube with water so to do that I'm just gonna go uh, shading x-ray that way I can see inside the cube then with the cube selected I'm gonna make sure that my particle type is set to water and then I'm gonna say fill object okay now I can see that there's a bunch of particles in there and if I rewind and hit play those particles fall okay to make it so they collide with the cube I need to make sure that I select the cube and I want to select the cube here notice that I have the particle selected it looks like I have the cube selected but I really don't so I want to make sure that I select the cube then I'm gonna to go to end cloth create passive collider now if I rewind and hit play I can see that the particles will rest in there and every time they'll kind of start over so I'm gonna kind of wait for them to rest and then I'm gonna hit stop and now I'll select them and the easiest way to select them would be in the outliner and then I can go to field solvers initial state set for selected now if I rewind that's gonna be my starting point of the water particles okay and I want these water particles to kind of pour out of here so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this face I'm gonna turn off x-ray okay good there we can see them and what you're looking at is I can see that these particles uh, they're spheres but they're allowed to kind of share a space with its neighbor okay and it might look more like kind of like bubbles right now I'm gonna give myself maybe 500 frames and let this uh, pour out of here okay I can see that it's not pouring out um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this um, it might not pour out let me see so if I rewind and hit play okay there we go yeah that 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 looks better okay so I don't want all the water to pour out I'm just gonna kind of let it go okay that looks good now once again this might not really look like water and it doesn't it's it's just basically particles but when we render it that's really what matters that's going to be kind of our how it's going to be finally viewed so if I go up here to render if I go to Arnold and render okay here's my Arnold render view and you know what I'm going to not use the Arnold render view for dynamics instead I'm just going to use the regular render views which are right here so if I click on this one here it's going to render and you can see that it's coming out all black okay and it's giving us a warning down here that says that hey there's no light in our scene so that's easy to fix I'm gonna go up here to Arnold lights and I'm gonna choose sky dome light what that's gonna do is it's going to place a sphere around our entire object like that which is actually a light believe it or not okay now if I render this out it looks like this okay and you can see that the geometry or the particles look like their geometry okay so if the particles get close enough to another particle they're actually going to kind of merge together kind of like water but if they get far enough away they'll be kind of come their own droplet now granted this still doesn't really look like water okay one thing for water that is helpful is to have an environment that it can reflect and refract so I'm gonna select this sky dome light that we put in and over under color in the attribute editor I'm gonna go ahead and find a file okay so maybe like this apartment right here and now let's see if that helped at all so now if I hit render okay cool so kind of it actually looks like liquid metal I can see that it's reflecting the um, the environment now I'm gonna select on these particles and in the particle shape tab I'm gonna scroll down to Arnold 
and I want to make sure opaque is unchecked, okay? Because if I add transparency, I want to make sure that that is, um, it's, it, it can allow it to be transparent. And I'm also, with the particle selected, I'm going to right click, assign a new material, and I'm going to go in and give it an a Arnold shader, and I'm going to give it the AI standard surface. Here, instead of like me trying to kind of mess with all these sliders, I'm going to go up here to one of the presets and I'm going to come down to clear water, replace. Now, if I render this out, okay, might take a lot longer to render. I feel like this is kind of complex for my to really think about. And um, I mean, this could take a couple minutes per frame or, or maybe even longer, uh, depending on your computer setup. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video right now, and then when it comes, uh, when it finishes, I'll take a look at it. And we can see that it's already started and it's significantly more convincing, but I'll go ahead and pause the video. All right, so I can see that the water um, took two minutes and 14 seconds to render. And you can see that it looks a lot more like water, right? It's, um, once again, it's connecting, it's got droplets coming out. And imagine if that was animated, uh, that would look pretty convincing. So really kind of a cool thing that even though these water, or these are considered um, particles, and they look weird in the viewport, when they render out, they actually look pretty good. So I just kind of wanted to point that out uh, with water. Um, you have to kind of add a material to it, you have to make sure there's an environment, and um, kind of baby it a little bit to make it look good, but I feel like um, that's kind of water in a nutshell.